Hey everyone, this is Will Stinton, back with another Apple Keynote tutorial. Today, we're gonna go over how to use the Dissolve build in a cool, unique way. I use it in my history lectures, but it also applies to any presentation that you might give. I'm going to show you how I did this in one of my Renaissance lecture notes when I talk about the Mona Lisa. I'm explaining one theory of how Mona Lisa might have been a self-portrait by da Vinci, and then I dissolve his self-portrait on top of Mona Lisa's face to show the similar features. So the first thing that you want to do is open up Keynote. We're going to choose a black background because this is a presentation. We're going to zoom out, delete these two things, and now we have a blank presentation. Let's go over to Google and type in Mona Lisa. And we're going to find ourselves a Mona Lisa image. So we'll hit Images, and we'll go to Tools, select Large. Large images are always what you want for presentations. And let's scroll down here, see this one. And we'll use this one. So here we have the Mona Lisa. And the second image that we gotta get is Leonardo da Vinci's self-portrait. So I'm gonna type in Leonardo da Vinci self-portrait. Here we go. And in case you didn't know, yeah, this is hand-drawn self-portrait. We, we, let's go look at this one. And let me see. Yeah, that one has a watermark on it. That one's not that good. That one's not that good. Um, let's go down. And here we go. Perfect. This is exactly what we want. So let's grab this one, drag it, and drop it into our presentation. And now we can work. So the first thing that you want to do is line up the image. And so in order to do that, we have to go over here to opacity. Make opacity 50% so you can see through the top image. Then we're going to go over to Arrange and hit Flip Sideways, so it'll flip the image around so both Mona Lisa and the self-portrait are looking the same way. We're going to shrink it down, and what I try to do whenever I'm doing one of these face dissolves is I try to line up the eyes, the nose, and all of those features come after that, because if you can line up the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, the dissolve will look flawless. So I'm just going to finish up right here, aligning it. Looks good to me. And what you can do is once it's lined up perfectly, you'll know because you can play with the opacity meter, take it down to zero, take it to 100, and fade it in and out to kind of see if it all lines up. And it looks good to me. So now we're gonna actually do the build. And so you gotta click on the top picture, go to animate, build in, hit dissolve. And we're gonna go 10 seconds on this dissolve. And you'll see, hit play. And there you have it, Leonardo da Vinci on Mona Lisa's face. All right guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed this Apple Keynote tutorial. Leave a comment below with any questions about Keynote that you have and I'll answer them. Be sure to also click the subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one.